Well, I lost my journal. Again. I should have realized the zombie dimension was a mistake. But I was kind of hoping maybe there was secretly an underground society of survivors running around. Anyway, time to start fresh again. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Remington, but you can call me Remy. I'm a dimensional hopper looking for a home, and this is my journal. I uh, lost my last journal in the zombie dimension, so I'm starting another one. As not been the first time I've done this, but hopefully it's the last. Let me start at the beginning of my adventure into this strange new land. As soon as I uh, snapped into this place, I found myself falling into an infinite void of... Well, void. Happens sometimes. When I opened my eyes, luckily, I was alive! Unfortunately, all my stuff was gone. Except my clothes, so... Silver lining there. I didn't have a lot of time to take in my surroundings since I was very quickly surprised by a resident of this dimension. A small, rabid person? I wanna say, named Lou? Lou gave me a quick rundown of the area I landed in as well as some inner context in how this place operates. It seems I landed in a place called Aramore, which looks like it's seen better days, but pretty friendly so far. Bunch of people live here apparently, but I haven't seen any. Lou told me I might uh, randomly run into them later. While looking for a house to sleep in, I met this cool fella named Nazir, who appears to be able to fly through the rain using a trident and magic. Lou told me apparently that there's an enchantment that allows you to do that, so that's pretty neat. Anyway, Nazir helped us find this empty treehouse some other people used to live in and then quite literally flew off. After a yawn and a sneeze, I parted ways with Luz and got a quick nap in. When I woke up, the sun had already set, but I wasn't too tired anymore so I kind of took a stroll through Aramore where I ran into Ranger, a bouncy animal person who I think might be part of Aramore's police department or one of Aramore's protectors, something like that. Art, a silent cat person who owned the restaurant that I talked to Lewin, and Goose, the Mayor of Aramore. And, uh, a little Goose, I think. Probably. After some talking, they made me do some kind of ritual where I wore a flower crown and then I drank some pond water where I then had the second worst trip of my entire life. Luckily, I survived, and double luckily I managed to pass some kind of test they were making me do. Goose had to dip, but I talked a bit with Ranger and Art and learned a bit more about the world around me. Apparently there are four and a half nations running around. There's Aramore, the place I'm in right now, that's apparently been burned recently. Verkhagen, a nation where the ruler seems to always go mad. Euphra and Freeport, which I still don't know a lot about. And then there's a werewolf encampment, which counts as the half in this context. Oh shit, right, the werewolf encampment. Okay, so apparently Ranger and Art are actually were animals and are infected by Luna, who is Art's werewolf girlfriend, and they're apparently not naturally like that. I just kind of assumed they were, given some of the crazy stuff I've seen, but now I know. Anyway, while we were talking, we passed through this eerie crypt where we heard super ominous sounds. Passed through what appeared to be a graveyard, and then headed to a kitchen where I taught Ranger how to make some fish stew. Which then gave me a stomachache, and made me hit the hay again. Anyway, so far, this dimension's pretty cool. Sure, there are a lot of dangers, like an evil cult running around, a suspicious church Lou warned me not to really talk about, and a various set of monsters infecting the world. But hey, the people are friendly! And it's kind of nice to have neighbors again that aren't trying to secretly eat me. I think. Maybe? Hopefully. <sighs> That'll be tomorrow's problem. For now, time to hit the hay on a good day.